Welcome to another episode of Tom Kennedy Science. Let's explore the universe, and today, let's explore some metabolism and, I know, chemistry. Now, this lecture is for my Bio for Health Science classes. So as freshmen in college that are gonna go into uh, nursing or some type of uh, health-related field, not for MD. So this is a basic introduction here to metabolism and what we're going to discuss today for our lecture topics very briefly, let's get into chemistry and metabolism, catabolic and anabolic reactions, hydrolysis, condensation reactions, and then monomers and polymers. So we've got some vocabulary we're going to learn today, but it's not too hard. Okay, so introduction to metabolism. Just think about it this way. You know, life, like this forester's turn diving into the water to catch some food, Life is an emergent property of chemical reactions, right? Life is all about chemistry. And metabolism is the sum of all these chemical reactions that take place inside your cells and inside your body. Now remember, chemical reactions, we're, we're making and breaking bonds. So we're, we're taking elements and we're, we're, we're combining them together, breaking them apart and recombining them into new, new molecules. But we're not changing any elements. So what does our metabolism do? Well, it basically does three main things. First, you've got to extract energy from the foods you eat. I mean, without energy, you can't have life, right? So you have to have energy. So that's one of the main things that our metabolism is going to do. It's going to extract energy. Now, as it's extracting energy from the foods that we eat, it's going to break down those foods, all the different types of molecules, into smaller building blocks. So as it's extracting energy, it's also going to use that energy to take those smaller building blocks and it's going to build other molecules that we require for our bodies. And we're also going to remove some waste from our body and of course do all the things like, you know, maintain homeostasis, grow, reproduce, you name it, all of those things that we have to do. We need energy in our building blocks to do that. So very briefly, these metabolism, that's the sum of all these chemical reactions like the one on the right. So chemical reactions, we're making and breaking covalent bonds, and we're not gonna change any elements here, okay? So on the right, we got a chemical reaction. This is a, uh, a condensation reaction we'll get to here in a second, but basically I'm taking two smaller molecules and combining them into a larger molecule. Now that little white there, that would be like a hydrogen atom attached to oxygen. The little lines in there represent a covalent bond. Remember, a covalent bond is formed by sharing the valence electrons. And then that's our little monomer there. And that could be as small as a carbon atom, or it could be something like an amino acid or nucleic acid or a glucose molecule. Two important types of metabolic reactions include catabolic reactions and anabolic reactions. So let's take a closer look here. Bef and uh, as we get into this, remember, we got to remember polymers. A polymer is basically, I'm going to take a molecule and I'm going to make it from smaller building blocks called the monomers. One way to think of a polymer is like a train. And the train is made up of individual uh, cars, right? And then the cars would be your monomers, which are the building blocks that you put together to make the polymers, okay? Now, the catabolic reactions. These are breaking larger molecules down into smaller ones. So at the top, I've got a larger polymer, and you'll see that red O, that's for oxygen, that's a, mo a molecule of water, and we're gonna break that larger polymer down into shorter polymers and monomers, and this is what our bodies do when you eat. You're gonna break proteins into amino acids, complex carbohydrates into glucose, or you'll break down nucleic acids into their nucleotides, and you can also break fats into smaller molecules. You may have heard of some of them like ketones. Okay, so catabolic reactions, we're breaking these polymers into the smaller building blocks called the monomers, okay? This is also called a hydrolysis reaction. Hydrolysis or hydrolysis is the way it looks like it's spelled. And what's happening in a hydrolysis reaction, hydrolysis, hydro means water, lysis means to split, 
we're going to split water and use that uh, splitting of the water to break down our larger molecule. Okay, and there's our water going to go into it here. And catabolic reactions typically release energy. So as our bodies are breaking down uh, larger molecules, they're going to transfer some of that energy and use it to build other molecules, which is part of our our um, metabolism there. So when you eat some yummy pizza, you're you're breaking down the proteins, the fat, and the carbohydrates in catabolic reactions, and they're typically hydrolysis reactions that are going to release energy. That our our cells will harness that energy. Now, in contrast, we have anabolic reactions. Here, we're going to build a larger molecule from a smaller building block. So, for example. Anabolic reactions are going to build proteins from amino acids. They're going to build complex carbohydrates from glucose. So starch, glycogen, cellulose, you're going to make this from glucose. And you're going to replicate DNA or you're going to make RNA from individual nucleotides. Okay. And you can also make fats from smaller molecules, especially ones that come from the breakdown of carbohydrates. So anabolic reactions are building polymers from the monomers. Remember the monomers being our building blocks. And we call this a condensation reaction because when we take the two smaller molecules, combine them together, water comes out of this reaction, hence condensation reaction. Okay, so two molecules are going to combine and we're going to get some water out of that. Now, anabolic reactions. You may have heard of things like anabolic steroids because anabolic steroids help build lots of muscles. So you need building blocks. So if you're going to build proteins, I'm sorry, if you're going to build muscle, you need amino acids to build the muscles. You also need energy. And if you're going to make proteins, you're going to make your proteins inside of a ribosome. And to build other types of molecules, you're going to need enzymes to help facilitate those chemical reactions. Okay, that was a very brief introduction there. So make sure that you understand what metabolism is, catabolic reactions, anabolic reactions, hydrolysis, condensation, polymer, and monomers. Okay, until next time, stay curious. And we'll continue this line of uh, on with uh, some lectures on carbohydrates.